Okay, somebody was not blowing. All right, I'm going to need everyone this time, including the parents and everyone in the back. All right, I'm going to need everyone this time. Let's try this again on the count of three. One, two, three. Right here. All of the rings onto one. But when John showed me that, I realized that, yes, indeed, we had found the tomb of the magical mummy. But before we get to exploring the tomb a little bit more, on the travels down the Nile River, or up the Nile River here, we heard many ancient Egyptian legends. And we heard how the tombs of ancient Egypt, Egypt were guarded by statues of Anubis. Anubis had the body of a man and the head of a wild dog or jackal. It said the tombs were guarded by curses, magical words that if you open the doors, you'd get sick and bad things would happen to you. But the scariest legend of all was the legend of Amit. Amit was known to the ancient Egyptians as the great swallowing monster. And Amit, it was said, had the head of a lion, the body of a hippopotamus, and the tail of a Nile crocodile. And it was also said that Amit's mouth was so big it could grobble, gobble a full-grown adult in one gulp. It could gobble eight or ten children in one gulp. And they were very afraid of this character that guarded the tombs. Now, I need a volunteer, somebody who wants to come up here. Okay, young man, come on up here. We have with us over here today, we have with us today a young Egyptian boy. And his name is Sergio. Sergio. And Sergio lived thousands of years ago along the Nile. He lived in a village much like Hawthorne, but with fewer people. Next to your village on one side was the Nile River, and on the other side was some deserts, some hills, and in those hills were ancient Egyptian tombs. And everyone in your village had been told, never go up into those tombs because Ahmed is guarding them, and if anyone ever went up there, do you know what, Sergio? They were never seen again. So needless to say, no one ever went up into those tombs. Well, Sergio lived in this village, and there was one thing Sergio loved to do every single day of his life more than anything else, and that was to play his drum. So you play a rhythm I can dance to for me? Just real quick, just play something I can dance to. Very good, all right, yeah. Now, if you were very afraid, how would you play that drum very afraid? Could you play it fast and really hard, fast and hard? Hey, give him a hand. That's very good afraid. Yeah. As I said, Sergio loved to play his drum more than anything else. And at the end of the day, he would come home to his house where he lived with his mother, his father, and his aunt. And every afternoon when Sergio would get home, the conversation would go something like this. Where have you been today, young man? Did you do your chores? Did you milk the goats? Say no. no. Did, you, did you pull the weeds in the garden? Did you groom the monkey? No. Did you make your bed? No. Ah! <laughs> I bet you all you did nag, 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 was play your drum nag, 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 all day long, wasn't that? Just your drum. Nag, 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 nag. Henry! Henry! Henry was Sergio's father. He came running over and the app would go, Oh, you know what Sergio did today? <laughs> And Henry, his father, would say, Sergio, you've got to do more than play your drum every day. Well, one day when Sergio was about, how old are you? Ten. When he was 10 years old, he woke up and went, I have had it to hear with that nagging aunt of mine. Nag, 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 do your chores. Nag, 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 make your bed. I am tired of that, said Sergio. In fact, I'm going to go out into the desert, into the hills. I'm going to go up where the tombs are because I have heard that there were fruit trees up there, water, and you could live just fine and fooey on that monster. Isn't that right? Because the reason no one ever was seen again is they never wanted to come back. 
So Sergio got up early one morning. He walked across the desert up to the hills where he stopped. And he had a right next to a beautiful stream of water. He then drank out of that stream because he was so thirsty from the walk. That's when you saw the doorway into the tomb. Sergio thought, wow, I could play my drum down into that tomb. It would sound really good. Has anyone ever sang in the shower before? It sounds really good, doesn't it? Well, that's what he thought. It would sound really good playing his drum. So down, down, down into the tomb he went. When he got inside, it opened up to a room about this big. And it was beautiful. It was filled with paintings and statues and golden. And he stood there at first going, wow. Do that. Go, wow. And then he saw the beautiful paintings and he went, ooh. And then he saw the wonderful statues and he went, ah. And then he saw the gold all over the floor and he went, whoa. Sergio was not paying attention. And all of a sudden, out from a dark corner of that tomb came... Amit, with his head of a lion and the body of the hippo and the tail of the Nile crocodile, and his mouth was huge with drool coming out the side. And Amit began coming directly for Sergio. Now show everybody how you're afraid, Sergio. You've just, yeah, okay. And sir, that monster backed Sergio against the wall. Told, no, no, over here, Sergio. He ducked under his chin, ran to the other side of the tomb, right about there. Stop. And he began playing his drum. He was sending a message. Keep playing. He was sending a message to his village. Now, for those of you that don't understand drum, I'll translate for you. This is what Sergio was saying. Help! Help! Ahmed is after me! Help! The problem was, Sergio was so far down into that tomb, no one could hear his drum. But a very interesting thing happened. While Sergio was playing his drum, Amit danced. And if Sergio stopped playing his drum, Amit came after him. So being a smart Egyptian boy, Sergio played his drum. And Amit danced and danced and danced. All day long he danced in that tube. Until finally the sun went down. It got dark outside. Amit yawned and went back off into the corner of the tomb to sleep. Here's your chance, Sergio. Run out of that tomb really quick. He ran out of that tomb. He turned and ran across the desert as fast as he could go. He ran all the way back to his village where he turned and ran to the front door of his house. Over here, Sergio, to the front door of your house. And when he got to the front door of his house, who do you suppose was waiting for him? His aunt. That's right. His aunt said... Oh, you've really done it this time, young man. It's well after dark. The whole village is worried. Sick, 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 sick. They're all out looking for you everywhere. Oh, you, I, I bet you played your drum all day, didn't you? I bet you didn't do any of your chores. Did you get to make your bed? Didn't groom the monkey? Didn't do any of the milking the goats? That we, Henry! His father came running up and went, Sergio, you're alive. I am so happy. We thought a lion ate you or something. But it's well after dark. Where have you been all day, young man? Where did you go? Did you go up into the hills? Did you go into the tombs? <gasps> did you see Ahmed? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> How come he didn't eat you? Because I played my drums and he started dancing. You played your drums and he started dancing, huh? And then what happened? and went to sleep, and you came home. Let me get this straight. You went into the hills, you went into the tomb, you saw Amit, you played your drum, Amit danced, got tired, went to sleep, and then you ran home. How many of you think if you came home late and your mom and dad were worried for you, how many think your mom or dad would believe that story? Ooh, boy, that's a hard story to believe. And Henry said exactly that, Sergio. That's a hard story to believe. But you know, You've always been a truthful young man. You've always told the truth. And, and so you must prove this story to us. Tomorrow, I want you to take your mother, 
your aunt and myself up into the hills and we want to see that omit for ourselves, okay? So the next morning, Sergio led them across the desert. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to see Amit we go. They got up and they drank water out of that creek, and then he led them down, down, down into that tomb. When they got inside the tomb, the mother, the father, and the aunt all went, wow. And they saw the beautiful pictures, and they all went, ooh, ooh. They saw the wonderful statues, and they all went, ah. They saw all the gold around and they all went, whoa. whoa. They weren't paying attention. And all of a sudden, out of a dark corner of that tomb came Amit with his big mouth wide open. The first thing Amit did was leap upon Sergio's father and in one gulp, <laughs> gulp swallowed him whole. Be sad now, Sergio. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And then that big mouth monster leapt upon his mother. <laughs> Go! Swallowed her whole. Cry a bit. Oh, yeah. And then that big mouth monster leapt upon his nagging aunt. And in one gulp, <laughs> gulp, swallowed her. How do you think you feel then? No, no, it was your aunt. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and then Amit came after Sergio. Sergio ducked, ran to the other side of the tomb again, began to play his drum very fast because he was very sad. And Amit, with that big full stomach, began to dance very fast. Pretty soon Amit was starting to turn green. And then Amit stopped and went, <laughs> and out came Sergio's father. He was all covered in green slimy stuff. But he was alive and breathing. So he played his drum fast again. And Amma danced and danced. And he started to turn green again. And then he stopped and went. <laughs> Out came his mother. She was all covered in that green slimy stuff too. But she was alive. And then Sergio, Sergio played nice and slow. Louder. Just slow. Slow. The world was wonderful. Sergio had his mother. Sergio had his father. But who didn't Sergio have? His nagging aunt. Well, it was about that time. Henry came up and said, Sergio, you must play your drum fast. It's only the right thing to do. We must get Auntie back. And being a good, dutiful son, he played his drum fast. And I'm a dance. And he danced. And in no time, he was turning green again. And then he stopped and went, <laughs> <laughs> Out came the ant, all covered in that green slimy stuff. But she was alive and breathing. Sergio went back to playing nice and easy. Amit continued to dance and dance and dance until the sun went down. Amit yawned, ah, whipped his crocodile tail around and went back into the tomb to sleep. That night, Sergio led his mother, his father, and his aunt all the way home. And when they got there, Sergio's aunt and he had this conversation. I want to thank you for saving my life. And I promise, said the aunt, I'll never yell at you again. And Sergio put up his right hand, and he promised from this day forward he would do his chores faithfully every day so his aunt would have no reason to yell at him anymore. And that was the tale of Sergio and Amit. Give Sergio a great big hand. Go ahead, sit down a little man. <clears throat> well, needless to say, one of the very first things we did was go out and get ourselves a drum. And fortunately for us, we entered the tomb without needing it. Now, John also discovered up on this wall a golden cube. And he also discovered how the magical mummy taught Tutankhamun the secret of keeping the gold hidden from us for so many centuries. What I found is a very...